Have you been told that you have big toe arthritis? Maybe you've been told you have something called hallux rigidus, which is rigid big toe, or hallux limitus, which is limited big toe. Both of these terms can fall under the umbrella of big toe arthritis. It can lead to pain, it can lead to stiffness, it can lead to loss of range of motion in your big toe. Now this is incredibly important because your big toe is vital for walking. So you may notice pain walking. You might notice pain after standing for a while, going up and or down the stairs, up and or down hills. The good news is there are things you can do to help improve this. You can improve the mobility and improve the strength, which can make those activities much easier. You just need to know the right movements. And my name's Alyssa, I'm a physical therapist, and I'm here to show you my favorite four movements to help improve the mobility and the strength of your big toe. Now, before we move any further, if you have arthritis in any other joints as well, I highly recommend hitting that red subscribe button right now so you can get tips and tricks as I send them out because guess what? There is hope and adventure is possible. So make sure you do that so we can hang out again. As we get into these four movements, you're going to need a couple of things. One, you're going to need a chair as the first three movements are seated. The last movement is going to be in standing and arguably is one of the most important. So I want you to stick around till the end. Secondly, you'll need a type of softer surface. So I'm just using a workout mat and I'll put the link down below. You can also use a pillow. You can can use a plusher rug. You can use a yoga mat that maybe is folded up a couple of times. There's likely something in your home that you can use, but the softer surface you have, you're going to be able to feel your toes move a little bit easier and you're going to get a little more range of motion. So just keeping that in mind, then you'll also need a towel rolled up. I like to use a dish towel just because of the size and they're usually a little bit sturdier. So you're gonna want a towel that's just a little sturdier and it's not super flimsy, especially for the second movement. Grab these things and let's get going. Okay, so I'm gonna take my dish towel and set it on the ground. Then I'm going to take my foot, the one that has the difficulty with the big toe I'm going to put my big toe right on the edge of the towel. And what I want you to do is try to let the rest of your toes relax. Notice you start to get a little bend through this big toe. Now you can move it back a little bit further if you want less bend, especially if it's not very comfortable putting it all the way up here. So you can move it further back. Essentially you wanna find a Position that feels somewhat comfortable. You're challenging the range of motion and it feels somewhat comfortable. A little bit of discomfort is okay, but we don't want significant pain. So none of these movements should cause significant pain. What I'd like you to try to do is push your big toe into the towel. This is called an isometric movement. And what we're doing is working the strength while your toe is in this somewhat bent position. This is going to resemble walking. I am just lightly pressing my big toe into the towel. This is not as hard as you can. This is just a very light movement. You're gonna hold for about five to 10 seconds and then you're gonna allow it to relax. And then I'm gonna push my big toe into the towel, five to 10 seconds, and then relax. Press it one more time, press into the towel, and then relax. Now to make this harder, you can move up further on the towel so you have more of a bend. And then you can go into pressing. Your other toes aren't doing anything besides relaxing. So you're just pressing in and then allowing that to relax. Anywhere between five to 10 repetitions is okay to start with. And then you can increase from there depending on how you're feeling. So that's number one. Now number two, we're gonna stay in this seated position. And what you're going to do is actually put the towel in between your feet like this. Then you're going to raise up and come down. Raise up and then come down. Now, depending on how much range of motion you have, it's going to indicate how high you can actually lift your heels. But the thing I want you to think about on this one is the coming down. So that you're, you're squeezing this towel. If your towel's kind of flimsy and it's not staying like this, you can use a pillow, you can use something, a yoga block even to put between your ankles. 
but this one's a pretty sturdy one, so it's staying. But you're essentially squeezing into the towel just a little bit, just so you're not allowing it to fall and then come back down. Now you might notice that the coming down is a lot harder than it looks. And also notice all of my toes are staying on the floor. So this one we're again working in that five to 10 repetition max to start with and then you can increase from there. Now to increase the difficulty then you would take this into a standing position. But if you don't have a lot of movement in the big toe, doing this in a standing or a weighted position might not be very comfortable. So that's why I like to start it in a seated position. And then you can start to work your way up. Number three is going to be a little bit more challenging. What you're going to do essentially is Somebody just described this recently as an ankle roll, which I think that this is a better way to think about it versus making an arch. So what you're going to do is you're essentially going to make an arch with your foot. I'm gonna show you on the left one just so you can see from the side, but you're essentially trying to keep your toes on the floor and make an arch. Okay, and then you're going to relax. Try to keep your toes on the floor and make an arch. Now, like I said, that ankle roll, you can also think of it that way. You're trying to roll your ankle out by keeping your toes on the floor. Notice how it brings in the same motion. You're essentially just trying to lift your arch up, keeping your toes on the floor. And the big focus on this one is the big toe. So we wanna keep the big toe on the floor, especially as you're working these intrinsic or the small muscles inside of your foot. We're trying to allow them to be able to help out when we're walking and to provide support to the joints themselves. So bring those arches up. Think about trying to roll your ankles out without allowing your toes to come off the floor. Again, five to 10 repetitions to start with and then you can increase the difficulty. By increasing the difficulty, you can actually stand up and do the same thing. Of course, that's in a weighted position, so it is going to make it harder, but you're essentially just trying to lift that arch, keeping your foot on the floor. This one is a little bit harder and it's kind of awkward to learn at first, but once you start to get the hang of it, it can really be helpful. Great one to do when you're watching TV, but you really do have to focus at least when you're beginning or when you're learning this movement. And sometimes it may even be helpful if you just look away from your feet and just feel your arch increase. So if you're having difficulty, you can also try that little trick too. Now the last one, this is one of my ultimate favorites because it has so many benefits. And this one is actually going to be in standing. And this is also where your mat or a little bit of a softer surface is going to come in handy. For this last one, we're going to work on balance. Balance is one of the most important movements, not only for your feet working your toe muscles, but also up the chain. So helping the knee, helping the hip, helping the back. So this is incredibly important and can bring lots of benefits. Now, again, I want you to think about that softer foam surface. So whether it's a workout mat, you can probably fold up a yoga mat a couple of times. You can also get one of those blue squares. You may have seen those foam squares, perhaps in physical therapy or at the gym. I'll put a link down below. Finding a softer surface is going to help activate your toe muscles a little bit into when you're doing balance movements. So the first thing you can do, you always wanna have support when you're practicing balance. I'm gonna show you three stances and they're gonna progressively get harder. So the very first one is going to be the easiest in terms of balance. You're gonna put basically your feet as close together as you can get them. If they don't go all the way, that's okay. This is also going to be a stance to start with if you're having a lot of pain in your big toe. Weight is equal through both feet, and we're just trying to stand here. Now, I want you to think about your feet though. Think about your toes. I want you to think about digging your toes into the ground, into the foam surface. Don't curl them. Just put some pressure in those toes and in your big toes. Get a sense of what this feels like. Make those toes work. 
Don't push into it as hard as you can. It's just a light pressure, but apply that pressure through your toes. Hold for about 30 seconds, maybe up to 60 seconds. If this feels good, this feels pretty easy, then you can progress to the next one, which is one foot in front of the other. So I'll show you from the side. Stack your feet one foot in front of the other. Now with this one, I want you to keep in mind, most of your weight's going to go towards the back foot. So I would perhaps start with the foot that's less painful in the back, just so you can get the feel for it and then you can flip your feet. Again, about 30 upwards of 60 seconds before progressing onto the next one. Again, same thing, you're focusing on your feet, you're focusing on your toes, putting light pressure into the ground. Again, that's where the soft surface comes in. You can do this on the ground, but you may not feel it as much. You're not asking as much of your toes to really work to stabilize yourself. And then you'll switch your feet and try it the other way. Then lastly, it's going to be practicing on one foot. Now this is going to put more stress through your toes, which isn't a bad thing if you're ready for it. But if you've had pain in the first two movements that we just did, this likely is not going to feel very good. If you're working up to standing on one leg, you can also have one hand on support just to offload some of your body weight while you're really working to feel your toes, dig them into the ground lightly, and then you can work towards losing the support and now supporting yourself, feeling those toes work. This is incredibly important for building up the muscles around your big toe in order to better support that joint. I hope this video is helpful for you and I hope that you feel your big toes start to gain some more mobility, maybe lose some of the pain that you're experiencing to really make walking, hiking, going up and down stairs, up and down inclines much easier. If you're looking for more arthritis tips, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and come hang out with me again because I have lots of tips where this is coming from. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day.